what is up everybody welcome back to the eclectic beard so this go around this is this is by request and apparently this is something that a lot of folks are looking at right now and it's music and it's ren high ren and um i don't know i it, it's i'll be honest with you the last <laughs> music video i looked at that was not some kind of national anthem or a hymn singing i was like oh wow it's been a while since i've done this so i guess this will help me get back in the groove of uh, of at least proper flow and stoppages and stuff like that so yeah let's let's take a look at Ren High Ren interesting start so this is very deliberate as far as the uh, the aesthetics my question is why um because you got not only is it just a grungy, dirty, it looks like an abandoned hospital room. He's done up like a patient. Got a guy with a pig mask, almost like maybe you'd seen in the movie Hostel or something like that. Pushed him in, so. Interesting. like a Tommy Emanuel song basically with the uh, guitar picking because um, it definitely looks like he's using his fingers and just uh, yeah it sounds like something you might hear just a little bit slower paced more classical feeling to it okay we got some sounds like classic metal almost being played on the guitar sound like a little bit of zeppelin there for a second that he took and played before he just transitioned to something else like that was it's pretty smooth Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Bren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10-step program. Rejoice. All your problems so will be gone. Fucking like dumb, boy. Nah, conversation <laughs> with, with oneself. Maybe, maybe from the aspect of some schizophrenia here. But at least that internal monologue that you take in, you know, that, that folks have with themselves is what it sounds like. Um, it's interesting. I'm just going to say this. The, the very first, let's see, we're two minutes and ten seconds into it. It's very interesting to say the least. Um, and I know I've stopped it a few times already in two minutes and ten seconds. If you get in the comments and you want to fuss about how many stoppages, go watch any reactor worth their salt they've done stopped it at least two or three, four times at this point because they're breaking down aspects, not only from the standpoint of they're trying to take and actually understand what's going on with the song, but a lot of times also due to copyright. But hey, um, I've only been doing it for two years, so what do I know? Um, but also just due to the fact of you've got to take and give your honest reaction. And this is the way it started to this. It's a, it's a flip a little bit. Because it sounded like he was playing just just riffing on some classical guitar to start, and now and just going through some scales a little bit, and now it's it's definitely it, the tenor of everything has changed from the playing to actually now that you hear his voice and it's this internal monologue. So he's telling a story via this internal monologue. He's he's painting a picture, and so far the picture is somebody that's 
had some had some issues and it's a bit disturbed. So this time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place, and my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great, and when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered for doing something special with myself. That's why I don't think that we should talk, man. Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help. You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one. Split in two, that makes one, so you see. You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. I'm not left over dinner, I'm not scraps on the side. Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy. Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Where are your Grammys, Ren? Nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics or stats. I never write hooks for the radio, they never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connecting, and the people who find it respect it. And for me, that's enough, cause this life's been tough, so it gives me a purpose I can rest in. Man, you sound so pretentious. Ran, your music is so self-centered. No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself. Trust me. You should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong, when I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with his subconscious, <laughs> Eminem did it Played on guitar, Plan B did Bro. it Man, you're not original, you criminal Bro. Oh my god just number one, I laugh because the Eminem and then Plan B did it because he's right. I mean, it's it's the thing about it is, like, it, this has been done a hundred times before because that's all it is is an argument with your subconscious, an argument with your inner self. Because everybody's got that, everybody's got their demon, everybody's got their demons, possibly sometimes, and everybody's got that bit of that that bit that just is hell bent on self destruction. And it's your ability to push that, push that side of you down, push it to the back. Like all of that doubt, all of that, just remember you've done this, remember you've done that, remember you've done this, all the times you failed. And that's what gets brought to the forefront. And it's that internal monologue that you have to have with the, you know what, piss on this. I'm doing this. I'm going for this. I'm whatever. So that internal voice just kind of, starts falling by the wayside now it will still creep in um with self-doubt and everything like that but you know uh it again uh, some people don't have the ability or some people struggle with the ability to uh not they let it get the best of them and for some people it's uh it's deeper than that and this sounds like a combination combination of not only that internal struggle that internal self-doubt just that internal, the, like the subconscious self that's always there and it's always just negative. It sounds like maybe, like I said at the beginning, almost like a little bit of some schizophrenia here, but uh, it, it sounded like that that self-destructive, doubtful, self-doubtful side. is it, He's trying to push him down and it's creeping his way back in, which often happens a lot of times whenever you start to take and have things go your way and it seems like it's been going your way for too long. No rip off artist, the pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material. Ran, mate, we've heard it all before. <laughs> oh, she sells seashells on the seashore. Fuck you, I don't need you, I don't need to hear this. Cause I'm fine by myself, I'm a genius. And I will be great, and I will make waves, and I'll shake up the whole world beneath us. That's right, speak your truth, your fucking god complex leaks out of you. It's refreshing to ask for you, say it, instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process and if people can find something to relate to within that then that's just a bonus Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you Ren Well fucking kill me then, let's fucking have you Ren I'ma do it, watch me prove it, who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die Yeah I call the shots and so I choose who survives I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside <sighs> News flash I was created at the dawn of creation I am temptation I am the snake in Eden. I am the reason for treason. Beheading all kings. I am sin with no rhyme or reason. Son of the morning, Lucifer, Antichrist, father of lies. Mistopheles, truth in the blender, deceitful pretender, the banished avenger, the righteous surrender. When standing in front of my solar eclipse, my name is stitched to your lips. So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal, feeble and normal. You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal. I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division. I live inside death, the beginning of end. I am you, you are me, I am you, friend.
I love that bit of like emotional decentering basically he does with the guitar there because it goes from like hard heavy dark to this just almost weeping melancholy sound that you take and get on that guitar like this is that that's a, like his breaks and, and stuff like that in this is, is pretty interesting hi ren i've been taking some time to be distant i've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill But just as sure as the tide starts turning Just as sure as the night has dawn Just as sure as the rain falls soon one is dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand, it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet And you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east and I'll settle on the ocean floor. So and I go sound, by many names okay, so also. Now I'm thoroughly confused because, and actually I'm not. I, I say I'm thoroughly confused. So basically, it's a conversation with the devil, is what it sounds like, literally. So we've got, but the interesting part is the personal way. Like a basically a Christian taking and talking with, or a person talking with the devil, because it's went from basically being told that you can't get rid of me. I'm basically I'm Lucifer. I'm the devil because in the Bible, the Lucifer is who brings all your faults to the front, all the doubts. Uh, just yeah, it, it's so now this is. I also have many names talking about, I come from the, e out, you know, come from the East. So this is the, this is Jesus. This is God. This is Christ, whatever figure you want to take and attach. But biblically, this, this would be Jesus. And so this is an interesting, because this is, this is not only, this is multi-layered because you've got the personal aspect and the personal relating to the spiritual, because the personal inner struggle is like the, the spiritual Light versus, light versus darker, good versus evil, God versus the devil type struggle. Some people know me as hope. Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today. I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain and I didn't once flinch or shake. So cower at the man I've become when I sing from the top of my lungs. That I won't retire, I'll stand in your fire, inspire that me to be strong. And when I am gone, I will rise in the music that I left behind. Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you, we're a to different sides. When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and psychosis. As I got older, I realized there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare, but there were victims and there were students it wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax.
and I learned to soften, and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. All right, so the, the I've been watching through this, okay. Watching through this because I, I, as a reactor, you're not you kind of notice whenever things start trending. I mean, in the reaction community, you kind of notice when things start trending. Like, and this has been one of those videos everybody's looked at personal opinion on this is it anything as far as like out of the norm like it it, it would it be because i've somebody told me yeah it's being looked at as you know it's being called a genius musically this has been done i mean there's there's have to it, it's there's you can i don't care if it's rock music i don't care if it's rap i don't care if it's country i don't care what genre you listen to that internal struggle that internal monologue and things of that nature defeating self-doubt defeating the inner demon basically um or dancing with that inner demon it's been done a million times like it, it's been done a million times over for me that's not the genius genius part of this now the last part of this like it's one of the dude it, it's that last bit, that spoken word bit, is such a massive truth that, that a lot of folks just can't seem to they they can't seem to get because it's that the whole lightning light uh, lighten it up and stuff like that and just remembering that you're human because often we try to be perfect whenever we live in an imperfect world. That last part, awesome for me. The presentation, the, the lyrically, it's a damn good job because it, he he personal he he personalized basically. He made it personal, and it's, he made it in a way that, like it, it sounded uber personal, but it also buttressed against the presentation visually. Like this is this is a very good song without the visuals. I think the visuals is what for a lot of people is pushing things over the top, maybe. Because here's like I said, and like he even referenced, oh Eminem, and you know the other part. Uh, who do you say? Uh, anyways, they've done it, and they but it's so many people that have done it. But the presentation that he's wrapped it up in, I'm gonna tell you like this: the instrumentation, like it, it pretty nice. It's it's like I said, it's not, it kind of had a Tommy Emmanuel sound at the very beginning. And then it switches to, you know, it sounded like he went through some, uh, some of the chords of maybe some Led Zeppelin there for a second before, um, launching into the song itself. The presentation on this, I think is the, is the genius aspect of this because he's wheeled in, by somebody with a pig mask and it's into a room that is clearly a former it's definitely it, it could have been a hospital it could have been a classroom but it gives a look of like an old hospital asylum room of, of some sort uh, and he's just left there in the wheelchair and then he starts playing and then as he starts taking, having that inner monologue conversation out loud, the aesthetic of the room, and it's bare, and just him and that guitar, whenever you have that internal monologue, whenever you have that internal strife within yourself, that's all it is. It's just you and you and that, that voice of doubt, that voice of basically the devil that's trying to take and hold you back. And there's, there's nothing more bare than that. I love the visual, uh, the, the visual representation on this. I just, 
for me, that's 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 what puts this song as like, okay, this was done very, very well. Like I said, the song itself is so personal. And I think that's one of the things that makes it stand out a little bit from some of the other stuff that's on the same vein. But it's not nothing we haven't heard before. It's not like it's something we haven't heard before, but it's it's just how personal he made it. He made it personal in a way by having that actual like conversation and, and role playing each part as the song while he's taking him hitting on his, you know playing on his guitar and you know switching between furious and timid and just bold and that for me is what it's the presentation it's the, it's the presentation that is the genius aspect of this song we've heard songs like this a million times Maybe not as personal, but we've still heard the same concept a million times in songs since forever. But the way he wrapped this up, the visuals, the just overall way that it's presented, and it, it it's it takes what's a really good song and just makes it wow, wow. So that's my two cents on this song. Whether you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. Like This is going to be going on the Spotify playlist. I'm actually going to be looking up more of this cat just because I'm interested. Really interested because that creatively, this is, like I said, it, it's not like it hasn't been done before, but I think the creative aspect of this and the way it's presented and the way even a lot of, this, a lot of it is sung, like I said, as like a role play back and forth. For me, that's what's just so killer about this. So... Definitely be taking, you know, whether it's my own time or on the channel. Definitely be looking at more of him. But this song for me, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll take and do this. Well, I'll, I'll do a, a four, a, a, you know, a five star rating. Like if we were going to take and be rolling across Rolling Stone magazine or something like that. Granted, I'm not Rolling Stone magazine. However, if you were, I'd give, I'd give, I'd give this a solid four out of five stars. I don't think it's completely five stars. Now, if I was a take and go, it out of the hole, it's four stars. It gets five for presentation and visuals. Four for lyrics. We'll split the difference. Four and a half stars. Very good, though. Very solid. Definitely worth listening to. I like this. That being said, y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves.